Hello Creative Gems! Welcome to Creativity! Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful high-end looking silver sunburst mirror for only a few dollars using materials from the dollar store. The special features of this sunburst mirror is that we will be making it out of a plastic plate and it will light up. I can't wait to show you how I make it. I will list out all the materials and if you would like, you can also visit my blog site at creativity.com for all the details including tips and tricks as well as links to my Amazon store where you can purchase some of my favorite craft tools and materials if you are unable to find them at your local dollar store. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would also love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. To begin, I will show you the materials. All the materials were found at either Dollar Tree or Dollarama unless otherwise stated. In lieu of a round mirror, today we will be using a plastic plate that is rimmed with a mirror-like finish. We will need one large round wreath form and some mirror contact paper which I found on Amazon. We will also need some craft sticks or otherwise known as popsicle sticks. Around 90 will suffice. We will also need some flat back silver gems. Although these are available from the dollar store, I bought mine from Hobby Lobby. For a light source, we will need a battery operated LED string of lights. The Dollar Tree has an assortment and so does Amazon. The one I found from Amazon is small and discreet and came to about a dollar each when I purchased multiples. We will also need some silver and or gold metallic paint along with some silver glitter. We will also need some rhinestone ribbon which I found on Amazon. And as per most of our craft projects, we will also need some white glue, which will dry clear, some hot glue, and some E6000. I got my glue gun from Amazon, and the E6000 is from my local hardware store. To start, we will need to paint one side of about 90 craft sticks. The paint I am using is a custom mixture of metallic silver paint, metallic gold paint, and a generous amount of silver glitter. When painting the craft sticks, you will only need to paint 95% of the stick as the remaining 5% will be hidden when we glue it to the back of the plate. I will show you later. With 90 craft sticks to paint, put some music on and enjoy the process. When you're done, allow about 20 minutes drying time while you admire how glittery the sticks are. The next step is to measure out and apply some mirror contact paper to the part of the plastic plate that is white. The contact paper we will be using will give the plate a mirror-like finish.
Around the contact paper, I will use some hot glue to trim it up with a string of rhinestone ribbon. Once the craft sticks are completely dry, the next step is to turn the plate upside down and using hot glue, adhere the craft sticks around the back edge of the plate. You can space them out as closely or far apart as you desire. If you prefer, you can also opt to cut some of them shorter and alternate long and short sticks around the plate. Once all the craft sticks are applied and the glue has dried completely, carefully turn the plate right side up. At this point, you can decide if you want to continue embellishing the mirror or not. For me, I decided I wanted more bling effect on the mirror, so I'm adding a string of silver beaded necklace around the inner part of the plate alongside the rhinestone ribbon. For this step, I use white glue to apply the string of silver beaded necklace. Then I go in again and apply some more rhinestone ribbon to the outer edge of the plate right where the craft sticks meet the plate.
final embellishment is to use some hot glue to apply some large and small flat back gems to each craft stick. If you want more bling effect, you can continue to add more gems along the length of the craft sticks. Once all of the glue has dried, carefully turn the plate upside down. The next step is to use some E6000 and some hot glue to adhere the wreath form securely to the back of the plate. Allow several hours or preferably wait overnight before handling the mirror. This will ensure that the glue has fully cured. The final step is to adorn the sunburst mirror with a string of lights. You can either apply the string of lights to the back of the craft sticks, or in my case, I have chosen to weave the lights around the craft sticks so the lights are exposed in the front.
And there you have it. We have created a glam sunburst mirror that lights up beautifully. And the best part is this sunburst mirror costs less than $5 to make. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon.